if you don't like this video in five seconds five seconds two guys gonna delete your player during season two hurry just like it don't risk it bro don't risk Yo, the NBA season is right around the corner, and if you guys are looking for the highest quality jerseys, go to pristinejerseys.com and use code TO. The link will be in the description below. Yo, what's good, everybody on YouTube? It's TO here, back with another banger for you guys today. Now, today I have a very special video. If you guys did not know, Season 2 just dropped, and with Season 2, they added Rebirths. There's a screenshot right here of Rebirths and what it does from the tweet, and basically a Rebirth. So in 2K19, they added Rebirths, and a Rebirth was when, um, it says it right here, would you like to create this player, um, Rebirth players get a head start on the career, up to 20 badge points already earned in the first 10 my points meters are already completed. So basically, you get to a 90 overall right away, and you already have 20 badge points already unlocked, like no grinding. And I am a point guard. You guys know me, I'm a point guard. But this year, I wanted to switch it up also and have some fun. So I created a demigod build. I created the, one of the best builds in the game. It is so OP. And it's already good off the rip with the new rebirth. And it is season two. Season two did just come out. So if you guys want the best dribble moves, the best new jump shots, all that good stuff, let me know in the comment section. I'll post that all ASAP. All the new season two info. There's a bunch of new stuff. If you guys want all that, I'll let you guys know it. Just let me know in the comment section. But we're here for one reason and one reason only. And that is to show you guys this build. So let's get into it right away. What you want to do is you want to go unlock the rebirth. All you do is you go see the lady at the top of the bow, and then you just play 10 games and you win them, okay? So then you go here, you click new build, and you click yes. Then it's going to take you to the my player builder. And obviously, you see my beautiful, beautiful player. He looks beautiful. Got the one arm tatted. I know. He looks sexy. So the position, you want to make him point guard, and you want to make him right-handed or left-handed. I personally always go left-handed. And the jersey number doesn't matter, but, you know, I got to go with the number three. And then you want to click continue. Now, last year, not last year, 2K20, there was the, the red-yellow um, build. Now, it was a two-way slashing playmaker. It was the most OP build in the game. No one could stop it. It was super, super annoying to play against, especially in wagers, because it has Hall of Fame defensive badges um, and Hall of Fame playmaking badges, and it can shoot. So this is the best build right now. I mean, if you guys want to play like casually, you want to play like the 1v1 core, you want to play stage here, you want to play stage there, you want to do all that fun stuff, this is the build you want, bro. And right away, you don't get contact dunks, but you'll eventually get contact dunks. So that is why, like, just trust me, f copy everything I do, and you'll be able to do it. And personally, you know, I'm more of a point guard. I like being fast. So that's why I picked the fast version of this build. So right away, just click this one. It's the red and yellow one. You want to click that. And then for speed profile, you could pick this one where you get vert and speed. But I personally didn't go with that just because I love being fast. And you can still get contact dunks with this build. And I just like being super duper fast. So I went with the max speed. You get 95 speed, 94 acceleration, and still a 75 vertical, which is still pretty good. And that is why I picked it. And then you want to copy exactly what I do right here. And I'm going to show you exactly why. So first close shot, make that 83. Don't ask any questions yet. Just watch me put these up. Your driving dunk is a 77. Already you have eight finishing badges, okay? That is a lot. Eight finishing is a lot. And you have, and you can, once you get to the right overall, you can get contact dunks. You just need to get to the right overall. So that is why we're here right now. Eight finishing. You got that. No standing dunk, no post hook. You don't need that. Mid-range shot, max that out. Max out your three-point shot. Now you're thinking, oh my gosh, only a 66 three pointer just wait till you max all these out take this down to a 60 as you see bro you have 10 shooting badges in this game you can green with a 50 three-pointer and once you hit 99 overall this will be a 70 and that is more than enough to green i guarantee you and you have 10 shooting badges that is more than enough that is all you need especially with the rebirth you already have 20 badges right away you can already be getting those badges right away quickly because the way i like getting badges is while i play i don't like playing my career I like just playing the game. So that's why I like the rebirth. And then you get 20 playmaking badges. As you see, 20 playmaking. 20. You get 88 ball handle. That is insane. And we're going to max our wingspan. It's going to go to 86, which is also good enough to get speed boosting dribble moves. And like this build is just insane. And then I don't do any interior defense because if I'm playing the twos or the threes or even the ones, honestly, I feel like with my other Hall of Fame defensive badges, I'm already going to have enough power to stop them because they're literally hall of fame and you see you get 19 defensive badges 
This badge count is already insane. You have 8 finishing, 10 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 19 defensive badges. I have this build on my other account when I was testing it out, and it is nuts. If you guys want like a 1v1 video or something about me using this build, let me know in the comment section. But just make sure you pause the video right now, copy this all down, and then I'm just going to like explain why this is so like you see the speed, 95 speed, 94 acceleration. It is the most balanced, overpowered build in the game. And honestly, if you're new to the game, this will be good for you. Like if you're not the best at the game or if you're amazing, it'll be good for you. That's why I like this build. It's just balanced for everyone. And then um, your body shape doesn't matter. I always go compact just because I think he looks beautiful. Now, this is where it gets controversial. This is the height. So personally, I go 6'4", okay, because I, I don't know how they're going to affect the ball handling later on in the year. So that is why I personally go 6'4", but some people want to go 6'5", just for the more driving dunk. And you still have 85 ball control. You'll get it higher when you get to 99, but I just don't want to risk losing it. So that is why I just go to 6'4". I personally don't do that. So you still get 86 ball control. And then the weight is also a little controversial, but for my weight... I go um, 187 pounds. I just like, like you get 95 speed, 95 acceleration. Your strength just goes down a little bit. I don't think it's that big of a deal. You lose one badge on um, attribute on the interior, interior defense. So it's not that big of a deal. And then you want to max out your wingspan. Now look, you have an 85 ball handle, which is good enough to get the speed boosting. And you have an 80 driving dunk, which is insane. And once that gets higher up, it'll increase. So yeah, this build is crazy. I was trying to tell you guys, I wasn't lying. This build is insane. So make sure you copy everything, match or copy this, max this out. And once you max this out, you will be a speed boosting demon. Now look at these um different takeovers. These are also personal preference, but if I were you, I would either pick playmaker or defense. I pick defense just because no one is scoring on me ever literally ever especially for the twos like if you're a twos player this build would be super fun to use or you can pick the playmaker badge because if you just do a couple moves these kids will be falling left and right and they won't do anything they can't stop you if you have playmaking takeover so it's up to you i personally went with um i wanted to do the lock badge but you guys could do this badge if you want so yeah it's up to you guys i don't know how i get shot creator because that is like crazy if you want to be fading like so know you can do shot creator if you want to be dunking on more people you can do slasher but i would do playmaker or, or um, lockdown defender so you know you just pick that out and then i'm going to show you guys this is what it will look like two-way playmaker and then we're going to edit the build real quick just so i can show you guys what badges you should put on so hold on a second all right guys so here is the badge count you see it's 8 10 20 19 so you guys want to go here you see you get hall of fame playmaking badges you get hall of fame defensive badges you get gold shooting badges, with this, which is more than enough. Literally way more than enough. And you also get gold finishing. This is the most balanced, overpowered build in the game. Like, if you are losing with this build, I don't know what to tell you. Because it's unstoppable. And you see the badge counts right here. I wasn't lying to you guys. It's you're, You have a 95 speed. You have the max speed that you could have. You're 6'4". You have a Hall of Fame defense. You're a lockdown. You have Hall of Fame playmaking. You're a playmaker. And you're pulling off from wherever you want and you're dunking on kids so yeah um this build is pretty good and i wanted to show you guys this new build as soon as i could as soon as season two dropped season two literally dropped two hours ago so if you guys want the best jump shots the best new sigs all the new content for season two leave a like on this video let's please try to get to a thousand likes i love you guys so much so please just scroll down hit the like button and a lot of you guys are not subscribed to me that watch my video so please just go sub to me i'm trying to hit 100k or 30,000 away i know we can do it I love you guys more than you'll ever know. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's Ventio, and I'm out. Peace.